Hey guys, it's Barry from the Yamar Academy. Today we're talking daily maintenance on the VIO 45 and above excavator. Today we're going to do it on our VIO 55. All right, tools you're going to need to accomplish this task are a hard hat, high visibility vest, eye pro, gloves, a rag, 14 millimeter socket, a ratchet, grease gun, and a tube of grease. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing on our list is we're gonna come back here to the back of the machine. We're gonna go ahead and open up the engine access panel. What we're gonna do is we're gonna check our fuel water separator. If you notice at the bottom, there's a red ring. What you're looking for is for this ring to be floated up towards the top, which tells me that there's water in it. Every day you wanna drain water out of this fluid water separator. Water in your fuel system is real bad on a common rail system, so we'll go ahead and drain this one. Now what we wanna do is just turn this open. Let any water drain out. Tighten it back up, and on to our next check. Next thing we gotta check is the engine oil. Go ahead and grab your rag, wipe down around the dipstick, make sure it's nice and clean, you don't transfer any dirt into the dipstick tube. Grab the ring, go ahead and pull it out. Give dipstick a quick wipe, reinsert it, make sure you seat it down all the way. Go ahead and pull it back out. And then we're gonna check our engine oil. What we wanna look for is there's two lines. You got a lower line, which tells you that the oil's low, and you got an upper line, it tells you that the oil's full. You want the oil to be somewhere in between. If you find that your engine oil is low when you check it, you'll come down here to this orange cap, pull it off, and that's where you'll refill your engine oil. Moving on, next check is gonna be the engine coolant system. To check it, we're gonna come down here to our overfill bottle. There's a low mark and a full mark. You want it to be somewhere in between. This one's a little high, so we'll go ahead and take care of that later. All right, moving on. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna check our coolant hoses. We'll go ahead and grab it, give it a nice little tug. Looking for any dry rotting. You wanna check your clamp back here, make sure it's not broke or loose, as well as the one on the bottom. And we're good to go. Next thing we're gonna check is our fan belt. Go ahead and push on the fan belt. Make sure it's not too tight. Make sure it's not too loose and we're good to go. All right guys, moving on. Next check is gonna be our hydraulic system. In order to set the machine up to check our hydraulics, we wanna make sure that we retract every one of our cylinders to get as much of the hydraulic fluid back from the system into the tank as we can. We're gonna check here at this opening. There's a low line and a high line, plus there's a little red ball in there. You want that little red ball to be floating as close to the top as you can. This one's good. But if yours is low, make sure you fill it with ISO VG46 hydraulic fluid. And if you've got to refill it, right here on this orange cap. All right, so our next one, we're gonna jump in the machine. We gotta check for abnormalities in the hydraulic system. The way we're gonna do that, go ahead and exercise each of the hydraulic functions. Listen for any noises that just don't sound right or unfamiliar. If you do come across some weird noises, make sure you get your machine to a authorized Yamar service dealer. Good to go. What we want to do now is go ahead and grease all the grease points on the machine. Follow me. Once you do the greasing, we're only going to do the one side for this video, but when you do it, make sure you do both sides. A little bit of grease will go a long ways. All right, in order to check your track tension, you want to get this triangle here lined up with your number two road wheel. 
Once you get it there, you want to lift the, this side of the track up and you're going to measure your distance between the bottom of your road wheel and the top of your track. You're looking for between 0.3 and 0.5 inches. If you need to add or take away track tension, remove these here, which we'll do. Inside is a grease fitting. What you'll do is you'll pump that with grease until we reach that 0.3 to 0.5 inches between the bottom of my track and the top of, bottom of my road wheel. All right, so in order to check the track tension, you wanna measure between the bottom of this wheel here and the top of your track. You're looking for 0.3 to 0.5 inches. This one's out, so we're gonna go ahead and add some track tension to it. As you can see, the track's starting to suck up. And that looks good right there. All right, so once we get track tension adjusted, we wanna go ahead and cover back up our access. Go ahead and put the bolts back in. Take our 14 millimeter, go ahead and tighten it back down. And we're good to go. All right guys, so next check we're gonna do is we gotta check the electrical system on the machine. I'll jump up inside. What we're gonna do is turn on the power, turn on our work light, jump out, make sure our work light is working, and then just check our display, make sure everything's working correctly in the display as well as our toggle switches on our panel. and we're good to go. Last check, we're gonna do a quick walk around of the machine, looking for any leaks, looking for any broken parts, anything that just does not look right. We'll start on one side of the machine, work our way all the way around, check all your hoses, check all your fittings, check everything you can get your hands on to make sure the machine is good to go. Let's go ahead and get started. There you go guys, quick, simple, easy checks, but checks that are very important if you wanna keep your machine digging for years to come. Until next time, I'll see you at the Yanmar Academy.